President Varela, thank you so much for joining us on America's Now. A lot has happened in the short amount of time since Panama and China established diplomatic ties. We're now seeing direct flights between your countries. Can you tell us what else is in the works? In just uh, 10 months, we've been able to sign more than 21 agreements, and we've been able to implement them. There's already a direct flight between Beijing to Panama, uh, uh, with a, a stop in Houston, technical stop in Houston. Uh, we've been able to start a feasibility studies uh, for the future project that we have for our country, which is building a train between Panama and the border with Costa Rica. We've been able to establish Panama as a country, preferred country for tourists, and also uh, I made an official visit uh, to China, and I expect President Xi Jinping to visit Panama uh, this year. Many a Chinese company has established their headquarters, regional headquarters in Panama, and it's, we're working very close, and I feel it's going to be very positive for both countries and our people. There's a lot of investment in our country too, and also a lot of Panamanian students going to, to China now to study Mandarin, and, and we hope to, we can have also Chinese students coming to Panama. So it's been a very uh, well-structured agenda and that we're uh, executing for the well-being of, of our people. I'm very happy with the results of this new relationship, and I'm sure that it's going to allow us to work together for the, for the future. Tell us more about this new container port that, this, that the Chinese company is building there. A Chinese company, uh, Landbridge, bought a property uh, in Panama, especially in Margarita Island, and they're going to develop a container port. Uh, they, they already started and they, are, they have hired the companies that are going to build it. And it's going to be a facility on the Atlantic side of Panama, and it will be able to move more cargo, and, and so Panama can be used as a hub to move products between uh, Latin America and also Asia. Uh, Panama has a great uh, future with, because of the canal. All the chips coming from China, Japan, Korea, to the East Coast of the United States, they pass through the Panama Canal with a lot of cargo, and the ships are going back empty, 50%. That is an idle capacity there, so we can use that to be able to use more the, the frequency of the ships transiting through the canal to export goods, from, especially food, from Latin America to Asia. So we're looking at food logistics uh, as something that we can grow together in the future. So could we see a free trade agreement soon? Yes, we are about uh, to send a delegation. We are about to... Uh, appoint a chief negotiator that is going to travel with the Minister of Commerce to Beijing to install the, the round tables to start negotiations for a free trade agreement and that's going to be very positive for both countries. What are your thoughts on some of the pressing issues in the region at the moment, particularly when it comes to corruption and solving the issue of corruption and also immigration? Well, I hope that we can recover what we did in Panama in 2015 where the continent America was more united at that time. We brought Cuba to the summit of America for the first time. It was Panama that hosted the summit. It was a very successful summit, 31 head of states. And we put our uh, difference, uh, political or ideological difference aside and tried to work together to benefit the people of this continent. So I feel that we can retake that agenda that was set in Panama. And even though there's some difference with Venezuela now, uh, with immigration policy with the United States, uh, at the end, the flow of people depends on, on, on the economy. The, you know, the, the people, they move from one country to another country not because they want to, because they are looking for better opportunities for their families. So one day, people is, people is moving from one country to the one. The next day, the, it's like Mexicans used to go to the United States. Now they're coming back to Mexico. So, so it seems that, that we, can, we should allow people to travel, when they, um, but we have to control the flow. That's all we have to do. Issues in Colombia with the, this drug production problem that we have with Colombia. I think I hope that we can work together to put any difference aside and then find solutions to the problem that affect our people. And especially in this fight against corruption, that we can move ahead in, with this agenda without affecting innocent people. We have to transform companies. We have to transform political parties. We have to transform our systems. We cannot destroy companies because then we will send many people unemployed stop the projects that benefit the people. So I feel that Panama is like a case study. The fight against corruption that we have done in Panama, we've been able to do it without hurting innocent people. And that's very important, and that's going to be my case, and Panama is a case study for that. President Varela, thank you so much for joining us on America's Now. Thanks a lot for this opportunity.